In today's video, we're making a very delicious pot of soup. Hello, welcome and welcome back again to my channel. To this recipe, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare a very delicious Ekusi Ijebu. This soup is very, very delicious, loaded with natural flavor, and you are going to love it. So keep watching please don't forget to like this video subscribe and don't forget to share all right so you're gonna need meat and here i have my pot of meat already cooked all i have here is goat's meat i have some smoked chicken we have beef we have one more and you can add as many as you want to and to cook your meat you just need to use uh grinded or uh, garlic powder, onion powder, make sure you're not using sliced onion, chopped onions, all of that. Or even if you do use chopped onions and all of that, just make sure to strain the water well because for this soup you don't need any chunks or unfinished grinded thing in the soup. Alright, so that's it for the meat. The meat is ready, so just cook and set aside. Next, we're going to place a pan on the heat and once the pan is hot, transfer in your ikusi seed and toast this until the nice and slightly brown. And that's all you want to make sure you're doing this on low heat because you don't want to end up with burnt ikusi seed. Alright, so this is it. They are ready at this moment. So I'm going to take this off the heat and then transfer to a flat surface. You can pour this on a tray, any flat surface that you have and allow it to cool down completely before blending. Alright, so now the gussie is completely cool and to blend we are going to be blending these things alongside Aikusi seed. We have habanero, I have chopped red bell peppers, we have uh, chopped onions, you're gonna need crayfish, and also you're gonna need this natural or local flavor, which will require locust beans. You're gonna need locust beans and crayfish to give you that local taste you're looking for. And these are all the things I'm going to blend with the Ikusi. You just need to transfer all of that into your blender, add water and blend until it's smooth. And now rinse your blender and the bowl and then transfer that water into it. Now place this on the heat and stir it nicely to combine. So next I'm going to cover this and allow it to boil until the water is completely dry. I just need this to cook in this minute, you know, just want to cook that egg see for that water to dry and this is it after fully dried of the water and now I'm going to transfer my meat stock into this and just make sure your meat stock is very clear and clean without any chopped things like onion pepper in it all right so after adding the meat stock i'll go in with seasoning salt and now add palm oil and then you're gonna need some fish so i have some dried deboned and clean fish i will transfer that and also you can add extra fish so for that i'm adding some smoked or dry mackerel and then I went in with some more water to cook this. When it comes to Egusi Jebu, I love mine to be a little bit light. And for Egusi Jebu, it has to be a little bit light, not thick in texture. So add the water and stir to combine. And next we will transfer the already cooked meat into the soup. So if you're cooking a goosey, a jabu, make sure yours is not thick. If a stick is not longer, is no longer a goosey jabu, I would say that is thick or kind of like a goosey, but just make sure it's not too thick. All right, so once I add that, I'm going to test for spices and all of that, but I needed more hotness in the soup. I love my soup to be you know hot like spicy i love spicy food if it's not spicy 
then it's not my food. So I've gone ahead to add some dry chili powder and I'll stir and cover this to cook for 15 minutes on medium heat. You need this to be well cooked so you need that heat to heat your pot, you know, heat the soup very hard. Alright, so this is 15 minutes later and this is exact consistency that I love. So I'm just going to leave this under heat to cook on low medium heat. You know, it's kind of simmer for extra five minutes until we reach this. I just need the oil to settle on top and now our soup is ready. So go ahead and enjoy this with any swallow of your choice. So delicious and the flavor, the aroma is everywhere in my kitchen. So delicious and don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. So if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and don't forget to subscribe. And with this soup, I kind of eat non-stop. I love it. I love the soup so much. So don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.